Hello everyone, this is another question, another video in the uh, risk, uncertainty, and expected value topic in the uh, CMA Part 1 exam. Alright, so today in this video we are going to calculate for the expected value. Alright, so uh, let's get started. The College Honor Society sells hot pretzels at the home football games. The frequency distribution of the demand for pretzels per game is presented as follows. So on the left hand column we see the sales volume, all right? On the right hand column we see the probability that the sales volume will take place. So as a quick example, the probability that the College Honor Society will sell 2,000 pretzels in a game is 10%, okay? And so you can go down the, the list and that's what the probability is for the various uh, sales volumes. All right, so the pretzels are sold for a dollar each and the cost per pretzel is 30 cents. Any unsold pretzels are discarded because they will be stale before the next home game. The estimated demand for pretzels at the next home football game using an expected value approach is okay so we need to calculate the estimated demand for pretzels so that means the sales volume how many will they sell in the next football game okay so what's and what's the expected value all right so uh, to calculate this to we'll solve for this so to solve the problem we should multiply each possible sales volume by its corresponding probability all right, and we do this to find the weighted average, which is the expected value, okay? And it is very simple to calculate. All we're doing is uh, multiplying the sales volume by the probability. It's as simple as that, okay? All right, so for number one, so let's go down the list one by one. So let's go 2,000 pretzels times point time well actually ten, times ten percent is two hundred then we do the next one three thousand pretzels times fifteen percent probability equals four hundred and fifty four thousand pretzels times twenty percent equals eight hundred pretzels 5,000 pretzels times 35%, that equals 1,750. And lastly, 6,000 pretzels times 20%, and that equals to 1,200. Okay? Now that we have, now that we have the, uh, these numbers, all we have to do is add them up. And if we do the math, this equals to, 4,400 pretzels. So based on the probability of each sales volume, we do the, the math and we add them up. The estimated demand for pretzels at the next home football game using an expected value approach, which is what we just did, is 4,400 pretzels. So the correct answer is C. All right? And that's all there is to it. As you can see, the question asked us, I wish it provided us with the value, the sale value of each pretzel, which was a dollar, and the cost per pretzel, which is 30 cents. As you can see, we didn't even use that information to solve the problem. So on the exam, you are going to be given a lot of additional information that is not required, required to, uh, for the calculation, but they will give it to you anyway. Okay, with the expectation that you will be able to understand it and know what to filter out and what to uh, filter in. Okay, um, if you have any questions, uh, drop a comment and I will get back to you. Until next time, bye-bye.